Our world is full of being in many worlds. From the oceans of the sun, to just left of that. From the floating planet canyons of Arizona, to whatever this is supposed to be. I'm Professor Scott Bug, tenured at the Academy of Thinks on Lamshire Hedge in Shrubshire Brook. Today we will discuss the laws and building blocks of the universe. Energy, gravity, or American gravity, and more on my marvels of the science. Now, light is just like... What? You know, because there's the seeable light, which is visible, but there's also many other things on the light spectrum. There's magnetism, there's electricity, sound, and there's, there's so... I, there's other stuff, too, and I, it's so many. I can't... I, I can't even. Now, light is everywhere, but it is very dangerous. To protect us from it, Ken Griffey Jr., the scientist one, invented dust. He tossed it up in the air to absorb all the radiation and the feelings and the gravity. Now, dust, of course, is mostly harmless, but it does burn a lot of fossil fuels, so we've only got a couple of months left. Now, I'm here doing some gravity, which is another word for to go around something. I gravity these leaves. The Earth gravity the sun, or suns, depending on which pole you're at. North is suns, south is sun. So if you're on the South Pole and you want to see more than one sun, you can't because there's not then there. But if you're in the North and you only want to see one, there's too many. There's more than you're looking for. So don't move to either. Stay on the equator where there are no suns. Now I'm here doing some smaller gravity and you can do this at home. You just go around, around, around and... Ha! Marvelous. And then I just sort of, you know, stare off over there. The speed of light is faster than, at the very least, just like a couple of things, but at the most, all of it. And if, if, if your mind can even gravity it, the light can reach the Earth from the moon in just now. It's done. It's already done, as I was talking. Faster than light is the much smaller atom, which is pretty blah. But then there's the electron, tiny ball of lightning that were discovered by Dr. Filmy Winge when he was visiting the tomb of the unknown scientist. These cells will go in opposite directions at once. They will grow and shrink at the same time, as if that's not super weird. Now, ickier still is the theory of small worms, which suggests that the universe is actually made by tiny little worms that are tinier than the tiniest thing that a person that's already pretty tiny could imagine. So the worms sink and hump and make the universe. And you can almost hear them if you get close enough, which we won't, because yuck. Yuck. So, if everything is made of worms, then worms are everything. So then, everything is everything. The world of science and nature is so truly amazing, it's just like, I mean, some of the stuff I just said is, you know, it's like, it's just, it's, it's just wild. The thing about the worms, it's like, there's no way that's true, but it is, you know? Oh, man. And, like, I haven't even gotten into the heavy spectrum, which is just, whew, that is the wowser, you know? Like, wowser, kapowser, major tripsville, man. It's freaky, deaky, weirdy stuff, you know? Bits. I mean, I've barely even gotten into the stuff with the bits. Like, sometimes I just do not believe the words I say. And that, and that's why science is one of my marvels of the science. Roll sound. Roll cameras. And action. If you're feeling saucy like me, you like our videos. There's... I thought there'd be more puns. We set this up and I just, what? Think, click subscribe. Think about it in your Use noodle. your noodle and the possibilities are endless breadsticks and Yay! salad. <laughs> we got there, we got there. All right, I'm gonna.